everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 15th of june 2022 let's start which country is the host of shangri la dialogue asia security summit so the 19th shangri la dialogue hosted by international institute for strategic studies commenced in singapore 2 years after the covid-19 pandemic and the shangri la annual dialogue is one among the important asia's defense summit so it is a unique meeting where ministers debate the region's most significant security challenge and it was launched in 2002 by the british think tank iiss with the support of singaporean government so the shangri la dialogue is officially known as the asia security summit okay so the host for this event was singapore next question okay today we'll be doing the current affairs first and after that we'll move on to our revision part in the later half of the video okay which indian state launched the suraksha mitra project vehicle monitoring system so kerala state transport ministry launched a vehicle monitoring system named as suraksha mitra project and in case of any accident the system sends distress messages to the owners mobile phones and the project was launched under the nirbhaya scheme and has become operational in the state to make the road travel safer okay so this system has been launched in the state of kerala next is which country has released the most detailed geological map of the moon so far so china has released the most detailed geological map of the moon which has the details of craters and the structure that was not chartered before and the us geological survey had mapped and classified the entire lunar surface in collaboration with nasa in the year 2020 but however this map registers the finer details than the us map and the new comprehensive geological map of the moon has a scale of 1 is to 25 lakh okay Next question what is the name of mascot of 44th chess olympiad to be hosted by chennai in 2022 so tamil nadu chief minister m k stalin unveiled the mascot and the logo named as thambi for 44th fide chess olympiad and thambi in tamil means younger brother so the international event will be held at mamallapuram near chennai and over 2000 players from 186 countries will take part in this event okay next is the national museum of customs and gst was recently inaugurated in which state or the union territory so union finance minister nirmala sitaraman inaugurated the national museum of customs and gst named as Dharohar in the state of Goa and it was inaugurated as a part of Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav iconic week of the Ministry of Finance so the finance minister removed the golden sand from single piece of rock art installed at the heritage blue buildings which was earlier known as Alfandega during the period of Portuguese rule in Goa and Dharohar museum also houses a GST gallery 
okay so this uh, museum has been inaugurated in the state of goa and who is the chief minister of goa mr pramod savant next is which indian chess player won the norway chess group a open chess tournament so india's ace chess player r pragnanantha won the norway chess group a open chess tournament after scoring 7.5 points from 9 rounds fine so he is a 16 year old grandmaster and he remained unbeaten through the 9 rounds and also world champion magnus carlsen emerged as the winner of norway chess 2022 and he clinched his fourth straight title okay next is which organization adopted an india sponsored resolution on multilingualism that mentions hindi bangla and urdu language so united nations general assembly has adopted an india sponsored resolution on multilingualism that mentions the hindi bangla and urdu languages for the very first time and this resolution encourages the united nations to provide important communication and messages in official and in non official languages including in hindi language okay so hindi at the rate united nations project was launched in the year 2018 to enhance the public outreach of the united nations in hindi language fine so here correct answer would be united nations next is which country has supplied nuclear fuel to the kudankulam nuclear power plant so rosatom state corporation of russia has supplied the first batches of reliable and cost efficient nuclear fuel over the existing one to india for the units 1 and 2 of kudankulam nuclear power plant and the existing fuel is tvs 2m nuclear fuel and after the refueling the power unit 1 will start its operation in 18 month fuel cycle okay so correct answer would be russia next is which is the venue of the 12th ministerial conference of the world trade organization so union commerce and industry minister piyush goel represented india in the 12th ministerial conference of the world trade organization at geneva switzerland and the minister while speaking at the plenary session of mc12 finding a permanent solution to the issue of public stock holding for food security should be the topmost priority for us and india co-sponsored a g33 proposal for solution to permanent stock holding at the world trade organization in 2021 okay so the venue of this event was geneva next is with reference to space science what is the expansion of frb which was seen in the news recently so astronomers have detected a signal from a galaxy which is said to be nearly 3 billion light years away called fast radio burst okay so these frbs are intense and short flashes of radio frequency emissions that last milliseconds and this phenomena was first detected in 2007 and the process is not fully understood by the scientist yet so the new fast radio burst is said to be co-located with the compact radio source and it is associated with the dwarf host galaxy as well okay so the full form of frb is fast radio burst next is which country has announced the plans to launch a solar power plant in space so china has announced that it is planning to launch a solar power plant in space for producing inexhaustible power in 2028 as part of the updated plan and earlier china aimed to establish a 1 megawatt solar power station in space by the year 2030 and china will launch a satellite in 2020 eight to test wireless power transmission technology from space to the ground from an altitude of 400 kilometers so it would basically convert the solar energy to the 
माइक्रोवेव और इनटू लेजर्स ओके नेक्स्ट इज विच कंट्री हैज रिपोर्टेड मोर्टैलिटी ड्यू टू इन्फेक्शन ऑफ अ टिक बॉन्ड पोवासन वायरस सो द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स अनाउंसड दिस वीक दैट अ वुमेन डाइड ड्यू टू इन्फेक्शन ऑफ अ टिक बॉन्ड पोवासन वायरस एंड श्री इज सेट टू बी द सेकेंड पर्सन इन कनेक्टिकट to test positive for the virus this year and the first one to die as well okay so ticks are basically external parasite which live by feeding on the blood of other creatures and powassan virus is named after the town of powassan in ontario where it was identified in the year 1958 okay next is which e-commerce marketplace has partnered with spices board to support the farmers and small industries in spice sector so major e-commerce marketplace flipkart has partnered with the spices board to provide national access to the farmers and to the organizations working in the spices sector and flipkart announced a partnership with flavor it spices trading limited which is an initiative of the spices board under the flipkart samarth program which basically aims to empower msmes artisans entrepreneurs and rural sellers and the farmer communities okay next is raba fatima who has been appointed as the under secretary general of the united nations is from which country so ambassador raba fatima permanent representative of the country bangladesh to the united nations has been appointed as the under secretary general of the united nations and she will also be high representative for the least developed countries landlocked developing countries and small island developing states and don't forget that she is the very first women ambassador diplomat from bangladesh to be appointed to this post and indian diplomat amandeep singh gill was appointed by united nations chief antonio gutres as his envoy on technology okay so she is from the country bangladesh next is which institution launched sis mobile application so the national commission for the protection of child rights has launched a sis application under the bal swaraj portal and this application aims to help in the rehabilitation process of children in the street situation so bal swaraj is a kind of portal that has been launched by ncpcr for online tracking and digital real time monitoring mechanism of children in need of care and protection so this initiative is taken under the direction of the supreme court of india okay So, what is the full form of NCPCR? The National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights. Next question: Which country, also a constitutional monarchy, appointed its first minister for the republic? So, Australia's new centre-left prime minister recently named his cabinet, and a junior minister, Matt Thistlewaite, was named as assistant minister for the republic for the very first time ever. so this is seen as a significant step as australia is a constitutional monarchy and the united kingdom's 96 year old queen elizabeth ii celebrates her platinum jubilee and her recently elected government in australia took a symbolic step towards her removal okay so these were the most important current affairs and the news from today and now we'll move to our revision section First of all, we'll see some of the most important recent appointments. Who was recently appointed chairman and managing director of HPCL? So our new chairman and MD of Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited is Mr. Pushp Kumar Joshi. Who was recently appointed as the managing director of TVS Motor Company? So the new MD of TVS Motor Company is Sudarshan Venu. Which of the following was appointed the vice chair of the maritime anti-corruption network in Denmark? This is Rajesh Unni, who has been appointed 
द सेंट्रल इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसीज फर्स्ट चीफ टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफिसर सो द फर्स्ट चीफ टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफिसर ऑफ सेंट्रल इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसी इज नंद मूलचंदानी ओके इंडिया ग्लोब एविएशन हैज अपॉइंटेड हु एज चेयरमैन ऑफ द इंडिगो बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स दिस इज वेंकट रमनी सुमंत्रन हु वॉज रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू सी ई ओ ऑफ जियो सेवन दिस इज आंसर विड बी साहस मल्होत्रा ओके नॉलेज सी सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट चैंपियनशिप्स विच इज द वेन्यू ऑफ द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वुमेन्स वर्ल्ड बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप सो दिस चैंपियनशिप टू प्लेस इन इस्तानबुल टर्की एंड इन दिस इंडिया वन टोटल थ्री मेडल्स सो वन वॉज गोल्ड एंड टू वर्ल्ड ब्रोन्स बेसिकली निखत जरीन फ्रॉम द स्टेट तेलंगाना शी वन द गोल्ड मेडल इन फिफ्टी टू के जीज कैटेगरी सेकेंड इज परवीन शी हैज बैक्ड ब्रोन्स मेडल इन सिक्सटी थ्री के जीज कैटेगरी एंड नेक्स्ट इज मनीषा एंड शी हैज बैक्ड द ब्रोन्स मेडल इन फिफ्टी सेवन के जीज कैटेगरी ओके कैन यू टेल मी हु वॉज डिक्लेयर्ड एज द बेस्ट बॉक्सर इन दिस चैंपियनशिप Do let me know in the comments. Who has won the 2022 Wangari Maathai Forest Champions Award? So this award has been presented to Cecile Najibet from the country Cameroon, and which state is the champion of the 12th Hockey India Senior Women National Championship 2022? So the winner of this event was Odisha. Then Odisha was followed by Karnataka at second place. Third was Jharkhand. and fourth was state haryana okay roni o sullivan who recently became the oldest world champion plays which is sports so he is related to snooker how many medals did india win in the asian wrestling championships 2022 so in total india has won 17 medals in this championship in which one was gold five were silver and 11 were bronze Which team won the men's title in the 71st Senior National Basketball Championship? So Tamil Nadu has won the men's title in the 71st Senior National Basketball Championship by defeating Punjab. And if we talk about the women's title in the same championship, then winner was Indian Railways by defeating Telangana. Okay. Now let's see some of the important days and themes. Revitalization. collective action for the ocean is the theme of which international day that is celebrated on 8th of june so this is the theme for the world ocean day which is observed on 8th of june what is the theme of the world food safety day 2022 so this year theme was safer food better health fine and you have to tell me when do we observe this day What is the theme of the World Environment Day 2022? It is observed on 5th of June every year and this year theme was only one earth. Appreciate all parents throughout the world is the theme of which day observed on 1st of June. So this is the theme of the Global Day of Parents which is observed on 1st of June every year. What is the theme of the World No Tobacco Day 2022? So this year theme was tobacco a threat to our environment. And this day is observed on 31st of May. What is the theme of International Day of Yoga 2022? This day is observed on 21st of June and this year theme is yoga for humanity. Okay? Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions. which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off